Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. So we're going to take a trip from Bridge Lake to a place called Interlakes. And it's um, along Highway 24 in the Caribou of British Columbia. So this is the highway. Highway 24 is referred to as several things. Uh, Little Fort Highway, Interlakes Highway, um, but it's also referred to as the Fishing Highway because uh, it, the lakes pretty much within just minutes of it are all really good fly fishing lakes and some of them are good for trolling in that too because they're quite deep. But uh, this is Bridge Lake. This is one of the larger of the lakes and it's provincial campground I'm at right now. So the sign there, if you pause it, you can see it's $18 a night. There's um, outhouses and no water. Uh, I don't think there's any water available anywhere. It does have a boat launch and there's access to the lake right at the campground there. But uh, the, I don't know how many sites there are, maybe 15 or so. But it's a cheap place to camp um, in this area. A lot of the lakes have different resorts and campgrounds on them, but um, they're they're a little bit more expensive, probably around uh, you know maybe thirty dollars a night for no services or anything, and they might have uh, they might have full services as well. There's quite a few of them around. Sheridan Lake. I know for sure there's like three of them, I think, three or four. But, uh, so this is the highway right here, and you are going to go to the right. Bridge Lake, where we started, I think they got, um, they've got quite a bit of kokanee in there, which are a landlocked salmon and uh, maybe lake trout. Might be some rainbow trout in there as well. But a lot of the lakes in this area have rainbow trout in them. And that's primarily what a lot of people go for. There's a lake on the left here. I think it's, uh, it's actually called Web Lakes. Like plural. I don't know if there's more than one of them that share the name, but never been to it, just driven past it. So this this road we're on, it's um, it's only about 15 minutes to Interlakes. Now Interlakes is actually uh, the name of a gas station market kind of thing, but it's um, an intersection that's kind of a good starting point if you're if you come into this area for um, all the you know all the different lakes kind of branch off of there but if you're uh, if you're coming here that's kind of the primary spot people get gas and uh, grocery store they get a deli in there um, I think they have a liquor store they even have um, fresh meat and stuff for you know if you're barbecuing that type of thing they cater to um, uh, people traveling through and camping and going to their summer homes and that sort of thing. So they get a little bit of everything, like you could find the most obscure thing in this little store. But it's a good spot, good spot to go. Um, there are a couple other communities uh, nearby that you could get stuff at, but uh, if you were to drive, you'd have to drive a little bit further away. Um, Lone Butte, if you continue on this highway, the next stop would be uh, Lone Butte and we'll take a trip through there as well and that's a little bit bigger of a spot uh, got more than one kind of business and this uh, this highway is really not that busy you know maybe um, you know, maybe a couple of vehicles and that would be about it. You're going to have in, in a line, you're never going to get a lot, of, a lot of traffic. But you have to watch out for the animals. There's uh, 
there's a lot of animals across and not just in the evening they're uh, they're um, through the day I've had two deer, deer jump out at me it was about I don't know, 10 or 11 in the morning and a couple different spots and you know a deer jumps across the road you know you typically see that sort of thing in the evening a bit more but They are up in altitude a little bit more than you would be in um, some of the valleys like around Kamloops and that. And it's kind of a bit of a plateau up here. So uh, in the evenings, this is um, May and it's uh, beginning of May and it's probably down to maybe uh, five, five to 10 degrees Celsius in the evenings and at night. Uh, not bad, but uh, when it's nice and sunny like this, it uh, warms up, you know, 20, 25 degrees pretty quick. The neat thing about a lot of these lakes here, there's uh, majority of the people are seasonal, but uh, most of the lakes have um, access, public access, um, all around them. So, it, you know, they're kind of obscure shapes. A lot of them, like Bridge Lake, Sharon Lake, quite uh, quite a lot of lake shore because they kind of wind around and stuff. But uh, if they're houses, there's typically going to be a uh, public access as well. So the road will terminate kind of right at the shore. So you usually able to launch your boat. Um, not really well defined kind of boat launches like you'd have to if you got something on a trailer you'd probably want to make sure that uh, you know there's there's something suitable at the very least you could probably launch at one of the resorts they might charge you five bucks or something five or ten bucks but you can, if you find a place to stay like where I am the Bridge Lake campground provincial campground um, you can do lots of day trips. There's just a ton of, ton of spots to go. If you're used to fast, high-speed uh, internet with your cell phone, there's not a lot of that around. Uh, you could get, um, you know, you can get access to the internet, but it's not going to be fast. And uh, if you're off the highway here very far, um, you're probably not gonna not gonna get uh, actual internet. Maybe not even cell getting better every few years it gets a little bit better but um, where I'm camped there I, inside my trailer I can't get any uh, internet access or phone access but if I go sit in my truck I have uh, a couple of bars but it's not uh, LTE or 5G certainly not 5G or anything. So if you spend a week or two up here, you'll definitely uh, probably see moose as well as uh, black bear and uh, for sure deer, um, coyote, foxes, uh, bobcat. I've seen I've seen all that uh, in this area.
10, 15 years ago, this area suffered quite a bit from the uh, alpin, uh, what's it called? alpine pine beetle, I guess it was. Um, so all the big lodgepole pines uh, just turned turned red, what seemed like almost overnight. And it seemed like half the forest was just red. And uh, it was all the dead trees. Now that was maybe 15, 10, 15 years ago, but most of them have fallen down or been harvested. Uh, they went through and logged a bunch of them to try to make use of them. But um, you don't see any of that really. So like a little spot like here where the trees are quite thin, could have been that there were pine in there. And so I do notice that uh, a few of the places are seem a little thinner with the trees, but that's just simply because those big old pine trees um, fell down. So the lake here on the left, you're not really going to see it, but it's uh, Sheridan Lake and it's one of the larger lakes, one of the better lakes for fishing as well. But um, the buildings up here on the left, that's, uh, that's a resort called, uh, I guess, Loon Bay. I've stayed there a number of times and uh, yeah, good access to the lake and stuff, but uh, I think we got a farmer's market going on today. We're just on the straight stretch here is going to be uh, where we're going to end this trip. But I suggest this, uh, there's actually a Rona here on the on the right. So they've, they've built a few more, that's, a, that's like a hardware store. They built a few more businesses up and behind. And I know there's a couple restaurants there as well and a pub. So, but this is a good place to, as a starting point if you, uh, if you come to the area. Yeah, if you, uh, if you like this kind of thing, think about subscribing, but I think this is will be, this will be where we'll end this video, and uh, I think we'll probably pick it up here at the next one and head to a, head to a lake off this highway. You can, you can see the guy with the boat and the trailer there. You're going to see a lot of people with uh, fishing boats and that sort of thing here. Interlakes Market, yeah. So this is uh, this is a decent place to get your stuff. But um, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.